This is kind of a hard question. The SAT thinks so, but I do think they could have made this question a lot harder by giving us slightly different versions of the information that we have here. But let's take a look, right? A cube is an edge length of 68 inches. A solid sphere with a radius of 34 inches is inside the cube, such that the sphere touches the center of each face of the cube. To the nearest cubic inch, what is the volume of the space in the cube not taken up by the sphere? So basically, we've got a cube and we've got a sphere. And if we take out the air, the volume of the sphere, we're going to be left with basically our answer, whatever's left over. So that's pretty easy. Now we have a two-step problem, or maybe three-step. Let's find the, the volume of the cube. So the volume of a cube, we can do um, a little bit of the reference chart here. So if I go and put it down so we can look at it, we do have the volume of a cube. It's here, right? A cube is just a rectangular prism where we have uh, the same length, width, and height. So rather than think of it as L times W times H, we can just kind of shorten that to our cube has a, a volume of whatever the side is cubed. X times X times X, they're all the same, so there you go. So that means it, a cube is an edge length of 68 inches, so the volume of the cube is 68 cubed. Let's get the calculator out for that, because no way I know that one. Big number, V is 314432. Cool, so that's the cube. Sphere, a little harder. I don't expect you to have that memorized. It's right there though, four thirds pi r cubed. So that goes uh, right here. So volume is four thirds pi r cubed. I'd write it on your scratch as just a blanket formula to make sure you don't miswrite it. Uh, then you can start plugging into it. So um, we know the sphere is a radius of 34. And this is where um, I think the SAT could have been a little bit trickier here. If they, the way that they describe the sphere inside of the cube, we should have known that the radius would be 34, right? So uh, just to kind of give you a rough sense of it, right? If we have this square and we're, or, or the cube and we're kind of looking at it from above, we would see the sphere inside just kind of touching everything. So if they just told us that 68 is the edge length of the cube, then we should have known that the full diameter of the sphere would be 30, it would be 68, and therefore the radius would be half that 34. So they could have forced us to figure that out. And they didn't, but I think it's important to know why we know that it, regardless of what they told us, this the radius has to be 34, because I, I could easily see another version of this question not telling us the radius and expecting us to figure it out. So anytime you're thinking about distances with 3D shapes, a good rule of thumb is write it down as a two-dimensional shape, kind of looking at it from some angle, and then try to think about it in those terms. It's a little easier. Regardless, now we can just do some math here. So uh, 4 thirds pi r cubed, this one, um, you can do it in your regular calculator. Uh, just to show you, you know, be careful how you do everything in Desmos or how you do anything in the calculator. So 4 thirds if you type that pi right now, it's going to put it in the wrong spot. So you got to make sure you're out of there. Four thirds pi, and then uh, 34 to the third gives me a volume of 164636. I'll leave off the decimals because it's not going to matter. But there you go. So now I have the cube and I have the sphere. So we're going to do some subtraction here. Subtraction. And we get... This one, I'm going to go back to the regular calculator. 314432 minus 164636 is 149796. Answer A. Done. Tedious, but at the end of the day, let's remember this is just plug points into equations, right? We had the, equa the equations are basically given to us in the reference chart. But it's still then just plugging in and solving and letting the calculator do a lot of the work. So the only real kind of like big step that we have to think about is the last one, where if we have the volume of the cube and we have the volume of the sphere that's inside the cube and we want the volume of the remaining space, then do some subtraction. That's the only thing that's kind of brainy about this. But I would hope that, you know, if you just kind of got the, the ball rolling, you would get to the end anyway just by having these two numbers and thinking maybe we should subtract them. That's my hope. But let me know in the comments if I'm missing something here.